Hey everyone, I'm Jordan with Trauma. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about chest tubes. I know I talk a lot about chest tubes, but just a quick reminder, there's two different types that may be stocked on your unit. There's gonna be the dry seal and the water seal. Um, the water seal is going to also be known as your oasis. This is a pediatric one. The adults are the same. They just don't have all of this cuteness on them. But this is your water seal. So if you remember us talking a lot about chest tubes, how this works is this tube right here is pulling the air out of your chest along with other things, blood, pus, fluid. It's pulling it out and it's taking it into this drainage chamber. When it pulls air out, air is gonna wanna rise. So it's gonna wanna rise back into the chest. So the only thing that's trapping air into the chest tube is your water seal. That's how the water seal chest tube works. A dry seal chest tube, how it works is there is a valve in here that when I pull air out of you, it is getting trapped within here somewhere in this valve. So there's actually no need for the water seal chamber, but we still put water in it because it will alert us if there is an air leak. So dry seal chest, chest tubes should not bubble normally. Water seal chest tubes should be bubbling if it's pulling air out of your chest. All right, set up very quickly, a little bit different for each. If you notice you have a water seal chest tube, you're gonna take it out of your box. Notice how it has this little tag right here inside of your suction can, uh, port. Remove this. And then that is what you will fill up your water with, okay? So your water will actually go through your suction port. And then just like anything else, this is the end of your tube. It will connect with the chest tube that is now coming out of the patient. And then finally, you'll actually hook your suction up to this piece right here. All right, so water seal, we're gonna remove the tag from here, place your water in here. And it will actually tell you on the tag to do that, okay? Dry seal chest tubes, a little bit different. There are instructions on the back. And right here, there will be a syringe for you. You'll take that syringe, and it's actually a lure lock this time, and you'll inject the water in through the back of the chest tube, all right? When you do that, you have the water that fills up down here. Okay, so dry seal is through the back. The water seal is through your suction port. The, also, the way I remember that is that then my dry seal is white for not having water through there, and then your water seal is actually blue because you're putting water through there. All right, so once this is set up again, this end piece here connects with the chest tube that is coming out of the patient's chest. And then finally, you're gonna hook up your suction in the same place. When you do that, you just turn your suction on. You should have seen this orange accordion bevel out with the suction. That tells me that I have enough on the wall. And if you ever need to adjust your suction here, you guys can look at this dial here on the side. It's like a Ferris wheel that I am going up and down on. You can adjust to wherever your order is. All right, I do have some leaking or some bubbling down here because I have a massive air leak because this is not hooked up to anything. Notice how then when I close this, my bubbling goes away. All right, and that means that I have no more air leak and my chest tube is functioning appropriately. And that's your chest tubes.